Okay, so let's I stretch something on uh, uh, email list and trying to I'm trying to reproduce the steps that led to an error. So here, oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna use this structure straight from the source and try to do some bina docking inside of Chimera. First, to try and reproduce the error. Here we have the receptor. I'm gonna remove all of the non-standard atoms, all of the pair atoms first, and save these as a receptor. Here on auto dock receptor. Now that I did that, I'm gonna close this and save the ligand. I think this is it. Yeah, as a as a ligand. So save PDV. Save PDV ligand. Uh, selected atoms only. Yeah, that should be it. And now I should be able to open the ligand and receptor. Uh -huh, perfect. Now for the oops, uh, Vina interface, yes, I could go for something like this tools, um, surface and bind, sorry, yeah, surface and binding, autodoc Vina. Output file, I'm going to call it results one, set output. Receptor is the receptor, ligand is the ligand. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna make a box. It should be actually, no. Uh, mm. Well, this is one of the reasons I don't like doing docking as I just selected here, that super hard to manipulate the boxes it's a terrible box to be well I'm gonna use it like that receptors ligand advanced this is one of the reasons I don't like this you are limited in the exhaustiveness but I'm gonna run it let's see what happens aha uh -huh. this this is I think this is the error oh, but it's running I think I had the same error that the person that posted on the uh, email got. Okay, the docking run. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, the box is too big for what I'm using. Uh -huh. Minus 11, that's, that's a very good resort, I th result, I think. Everything looks all right. There's tons of errors. Particularly the protonation seems to be wrong. But but we did get a result. Actually, we get three results. The first one is pretty good. Even though the exhaustivity is not perfect, it, it works. So that error doesn't seem to be able to stop the dog. Please replay the video at length to, to get what you need. But however, I, I think one of the comments that the person got on, on the site is that this structure may be incomplete. And that usually is true. Uh, X-ray crystallography structures are not perfect. And here I'm gonna leave this window open because one of the things I will do anytime I'm preparing a structure is going to edit thing and doc prep. Uh, in this instance, I already removed everything that is not a protein, so I'm going to run all of these. Uh, particularly these incomplete side chains is going to be something that we're going to be able to see here. We're going to see that uh, on this tiny screen, we'll, we'll see some some of the reconstruction happening. So I'm going to run the dark prep, and you should be able to see. But actually, we don't see it. That's interesting. On, on Windows, you can on Mac, sorry, you can see that some broad numbers are added to chain side chains that are incomplete. But we didn't see it. Okay. Well, I'm only I'm gonna add the hydrogens there and the charges. 
and this is ready. I'm gonna save it again. This time I'm gonna save it as receptor2 and I'm gonna load the ligand I already prepared. That ligand, I guess I could do some, uh, well, some preparation, but I'm not going to. The complaint from the system was about the receptor, not the ligand. So let's run the token again. This token, because Autodogvina inside of uh, Chimera is not really flexible, it's gonna be tricky to make exactly the same docking as I already did. But, but I'm gonna try. understand what are the rules for shortening the box or where, where do you move it as there as I did there and where do you cut it yeah seriously have no idea as I said I was going to try to make it as similar as possible just gonna run it now as you can see did not complain oh it did complain It's complaining about the prepared ligand. I'm guessing maybe that the ligand is not is not uh, because it has no hydrogen. It's causing a little bit of trouble, but not an insurmountable trouble as we can get results. So we got a min minus eleven in this docking. I'm gonna try to compare it to the first docking, which gave us a minus eleven point. I think this is what we should compare. So it's pretty much the same. Did I, did I, my changes to the workflow did I improve this or make it significantly worse? We can see the docking result there. Uh, oh, interesting. The second and third results are sufficiently different, but the first one is pretty much the same. So I'm going to run it one more time. I'm going, this time I'm going to protonate the ligand like, with the same dog bread tool. Which hides uh, hydrogens and the um, charges. Oh, this step is going to take a while because Chimera is going to use semi-empirical quantum mechanics. Uh, it's not a complicated molecule, but I don't know if it's it's probably not going to be quick. My main gripe against this is that there's no way to reuse this. Oh, it's done. And every single time we need to prepare this ligand, we are likely to have to repeat the step of the quantum mechanics, unless we don't care about the charges, which could be uh, what we have, what we need. What we have to do and what we need. I'm going to go for receptor 2, ligand 2. This is what the two things we have. Oh no, this is... Oh, it's the name ligand, even though it's file ligand too. Let's try re to repeat that docking. Receptor, browse... No, it's called ligand. Maybe I, I say file, results, three. Hmm, let's make a box. Again, super weird, difficult box. That I don't know how to control. And 
trying to make it as similar to previous dockings as I can. No errors so far. Not done yet, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, this result is slightly better than the previous one. Mm. But we can see the differences in the hydroxide. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So what can I say? Clearly, when you are preparing docking, even if you are doing it inside Chimera with Avogadro, there's two steps that will be recommended. One, prepare the receptor with the dock prep tool to fix any problems that can be fixed and to prepare the ligand with the same tool. Uh, let me tell you that even though a uh, dog prep will fix missing side chains, it's not gonna do anything about fixing missing backbone. If there is missing backbone, you need to find another tool like modeler, alpha fold, something else to fix it. Side chains, missing side chains, that can be fixed by, by Chimera. Uh, maybe there could be some improvement in the docking results if we were to energy minimize the system, but I'm not gonna go into that. I just wanted to show uh, the way to go with these tools. As far as I can tell, there was no error message this time. And But I do gotta say, uh, I think that droning bin at True Chimera is a very good way to start testing docking. I totally would recommend to jump to tools such as Pyrex, uh, because those are gonna make it easier for the user to prepare the grids and the boxes. Uh, it's taking a little bit to load, but I'm going to show you the website. Pyrex can run on Macs, uh, Windows, Linux, uh, and there's a free version, so I do recommend you check it out and try to prepare your docking with this tool. Uh, Chimera, as you can see, it's very tricky to prepare the box. There's many ways to make it systematic, but it's way easier to start up with Pyrex because it will also allow you to do more serious exhaustiveness for these dockings, hundreds, even thousands if you have enough memory. Here is the tool, as you can see it runs on, on Windows. I think, I, I don't want to do it, but I could try, Oop, no, that's not something I want, I could try to run it on the proteins I just prepared. Well, let's do it. I'm gonna, of course I selected Vina, I'm gonna select the ligands, they are on E, on Autodoc, I'm gonna use ligand 2 which is the protonated one here as you can see it prepared it by removing all the protons except the ones that can make hydrogen bonding then i'm going to go for receptor 2 which is the one that been that's been fixed and corrected mm -hmm. mm, forward here we have a box that i it couldn't be even so here you can see that you can control the box by moving these spheres. You see, I can make the width, length, and depth of the box smaller, and I can even... Mm, how do I select what can... Ah, here. I can center it on the ligand in a more intuitive fashion without having to try to guess how do I interact with it and make it so much smaller than just a random size that I was able to get because I click something right. Now this probably is going to be a more, a better search, not more exhaustive, but better search than what I originally did. As you can see, it's super easier to prepare. I'm going to set the parameters for running. I'm going to make the exhaustiveness 10. The default is 8, and in Chimera you cannot change it further, higher than uh, 8. I'm going to make it 9. I'm going to make just five modes, five results, and I'm going to run bin. Now, here, not only I can control those parameters, the box, the exhaustiveness, better, but I could also have run several ligands, prepare them all together in, as, an, as an input, series of, a series of input files, and run the docking in a continuous serial fashion. Here, I'm only going to do one ligand to demonstrate how easier it is to do it here and how I can uh, make the box 
in a more intuitive fashion and get to the result. Okay, here we go. Results similar, minus 11.5 to, to those previously observed in Bina. <laughs> I'm not changing anything. Uh, less, a little slight less variation on the hydroxides and secondary results that are significantly different. So, yeah, I seen, I showed you that you can run the docking on Chimera, that you probably need to take care of the hydrogens and fixing some side chains and the hydrogens for the ligand, but I do recommend Pyrex to do the same docking with Bina. Good. Thank you for watching this video. See you later.